Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates. And in between this episode and the last, uh, something happened that I actually did not intend to do, which is, well, to unlock another character. So here's the deal. Once you upgrade any puppet in your army to the highest rank, right now we have a puppet A, the highest it can go. You will unlock Yukimura. However, unfortunately, I was not able to capture this footage, so I'm going to be displaying it on screen right now, as if I did. Um... Oh, hello. <laughs> it has been a long time since we last met, Prince Corrin. It appears you have our enemy in check at their capital, but I believe that in order to finish the game, you will need more pawns. I have left the castle defended by Artum... Uh, mm. Use me as you see fit. So yeah, that's his character introduction. Really unfortunate, but basically I had to film that on another one of my save files just for this video. But uh, now that we got him, uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's uh, interesting. Plus five hit to all allies. Could be very helpful as a nice d defensive guy. He also has Golem Bane and some other useless crap. I don't know why he's even here, to be honest. Though, if you need someone to really get duplicate, like, fast, he's only five levels away. But that is not what we're here to do. What we're here to do in this yeah. episode is, guys, it is finally freaking time. There is one paralogue left to do in this game. And, well, once we finish it, we'll do nothing but story missions. And I want to get to that as quickly as possible. And, oh boy, did I save the worst... Or last. Let's get this over with, guys. God dang it. Hisame. Over here, it's dad! Lucky kid, I got living here in a deep realm. Catch a whiff of that breeze. It smells like freedom. Hey, good times! Hey, Hisame! Over here! Father. Don't need to yell. What? Hey, what's with this father stuff? I was dad last time I checked. Remember? The guy you'd come running to see when I showed up? What's this? You're way over there. Do I stink or something? No. I'm just older now. Hmm. My boys. In his teens now? I get it. You don't want to hang out with dad. I remember being your age. Seems like yesterday. You're just as moody as I was. Leave me alone. Father, you don't understand. I'm not being moody. <laughs> Didn't mean to make fun of you. Just giving you a hard time. Come on. I come all this way? Can I ruffle my boy's hair like the old days? <laughs> come again? Uh, a little louder. Pipe up! What'd you say? Please, stop it. Father, you haven't been back to visit me in ages. You can't just breeze in and out like we're still the best of friends. But I came to visit only a few... What was it? Days? Weeks? I just... I just want you to leave. You forgot how time passes here. I've learned to be just fine on my own. So goodbye, Father. Oh, man. Uh, I really screwed this up. Last time he was so happy, but now, there goes my little boy, off and running. Whoa, wait, where is he running? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I didn't mean to do that. I've run into Father's world. <gasps> this is where Father lives? Around monsters like this? If only he were here. No. I have to find my own battle starting now. I have a long grudge with Paralog 11 because honestly, it's just so boring. So here's the deal. Yeah, more faceless. And there are a couple that are like, dang, you know, hey, he has this skill I've never seen before. Whoa, that one's really annoying. But really, they're just faceless. And they're all level 32. And outside of that, they're just not really that scary. So I'm going to be marking the ones I think are like mildly dangerous before we begin. But really, this chapter should not be even remotely difficult at all. If you have a spirit katana, if you have that, 
We're probably going to two-shot pretty much all of them, and uh, that one's kind of annoying, but not a big deal. I don't know if we've been over this skill yet, but uh, this is life and death during combat, 10 plus damage and take. It's not that good to have on your characters, but when you're going up against it, you should probably make mind of that. But outside of that, really, there's just a lot of faceless with... um. What is the skill called? Elbow Room. Which is annoying, but that's why I brought my own character with Elbow Room. Where is she? Yeah, there she is. Sophie's back, guys. I know you missed her. She's back. And unfortunately, she can't declothe the enemy here. But, uh, yeah, I just decided to bring overpowered units because, honestly, this chapter is no fun. Mostly because of this wasteland terrain just slowing us down. But that can be evilly, easily remedied. Yeah, let's just start. <laughs> so, my strat here is to use Hinoka and pretty much everybody and just use the dual weapons since they have a high crit chance they can probably take down these guys if we just get a tiny bit lucky i also decided to bring along um saizo and I, oh yeah here's the <laughs> good thing i checked he has these spy shurikens on and 27 uh, silver's damage would go down though that's why i don't want to use that i'm just gonna go for dual sounds good oh baby yeah that's some pretty high crit chance so huh? um that's fine with me let's uh use azama though this i know i keep saying this but this actually will be the last time we see azama because yeah that um <laughs> his crits are pretty strong and i don't know if i mentioned it yet but um that was basically Hinoka's critical attack. I won't lose! You may recognize that, and I don't actually want to use her yet. Basically, retainers and their, um, you know, lords share critical animation. Oh, not bad, but, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. I kind of just figured that out the other day, but, uh, holy don't. This one unlucky faceless dude, it's like, look at me, I got Axe Breaker. What do you mean Johnny doesn't use axes? Oh, God! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so far this map, it's going okay. It could definitely be going better. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this guy, and, yeah. I don't even need to bring, um, Kagero at all. It's not necessary. And let's see. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do this. And then switch. Then separate. Yeah, that's not a bad turn. So, okay. Sakura also being extremely helpful here, but um, we're not done yet. I'm gonna send Korn south as well, and then I guess, hmm. I'm just gonna divide the army. I swear, this is like my only strat when it comes to strategy RPGs. Like, the amount of them I play, I start to realize, like, wow, I actually really suck at them. Like, nine times out of ten, I can sure figure out a decent strategy in my head, but it's never like the game winning strat, you know? Like, holy crud, dude. Johnny's next level. Yeah, but, you know, hey, I, I manage, you know. But, I don't know, it just, to me, Fire Emblem, at least the way I play it, which is grind up a ton, doesn't really feel like it's a lot of strategy. And I know there are strategies you can implement in this game, but really, when you can grind, you don't need to do any of that. Which, I mean, I think has been Fire Emblem's biggest, like, problem with, like, getting people to try it out is also its biggest strength, which is permadeath and I want permadeath to continue to be in the series but I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by its existence which is a shame because really I think these games are accessible to people they just have to go with the mindset that like, yeah I will lose a person or two and I know there's some people out there like perfectionists like I am who don't want to lose anybody and that's possible you just have to have the right strat or just the right amount of dumb luck, and you end up winning like a drink of them. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're just gonna continue to get Hinoka. Oh, crap, I need this person killed. Rub them out, Ryoma. You're the mob, apparently, but, uh, I don't know. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Like, Fire Emblem Fates seemed like the just holy crud. Everyone I know is playing this game, or at least played it when it came out, which is crazy. That's never happened to my knowledge with the Fire Emblem game, so it's. Pretty cool. I'm glad they went in this direction. Although there's some things I wish they'd change. Anyways, we're gonna switch to Hinata now. So we can recruit Hisame, since, well, not having him's kinda stupid, since he can kind of help, I guess. Are you hurt? Hisame! Father. You came to rescue me? After everything I said? Hey now. It's all you worry. Your dad's here! Wait, yeah, but here! And these monsters don't stand a chance against me! Hero. What? You, you say something? You can't mumble in battle. You gotta get to it. No, it's nothing. Really? Oh well. Eh, if you say so. 
Now, excuse your dad while he goes in swinging. Hide over there, son. I'll give a shout when it's safe to come out. No. I'm staying. I've got your back, father. But when you grow up to be a hero like your old dad? I've got your back too, son. No one's ever getting between us. Yes, I'll make sure of that. All right, come on. Let's show these gross piles of evil who's boss. Let's end this quickly. It's cutting into my father's son time. Yeah, he's somebody's boring. I don't sing like him. And uh, his joke is basically just pickle. That's all he does. Anyways, we're gonna promote him because there's no reason not to. And I understand we already have Astra, but really he's pretty much designed to be a sword master. It's like his mom was a sword master. Hinata still like a samurai, but like still, why the dump would you not make him a sword master? I don't know. And it kind of goes well with his whole design. He could be a master of arms, but really this is where we want him to be. And hopefully he'll be of use, even though I plan to never use him because yeah he's just real almost better in every imaginable way um I'm sh I really hope I'm not getting too overzealous here but I want to go in uh, let's hope Sophie Prox Luna that'd be great and I want to try and get her oh there we go I want to try and get her oh my gosh her uh, level 15 paladin skill and then I'm thinking to respect her into a great knight just like her dad because Really? There's just no reason not to? Like, I've been thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? Despite the fact we already have Luna, Great Knight still serves the better purpose, because we, we are not short on Pegasus Knights at all, even in the slightest, so why not make her that? I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. Um, we're gonna move Kaldori up there, we're gonna sing with Ryoma, and the annoying thing about this map really is, guys, just the reinforcements. I strongly dislike maps of reinforcements. I understand their purpose in Fire Emblem, but still, I'm not a fan if I'm gonna be totally honest, but hey, whatever. We got Hisame recruited, which is good, because if he stays a green, oh man, that kind of sucked. Uh, if he stays a green unit, super risky. I don't want that, and uh, hmm, so far we're doing fine. We really just need to get past this wasteland terrain, though, which is kind of been a thorn in my side as of late, but uh, yeah, we're still on turn two. We're not even remotely afraid of any reinforcements yet, so no real reason to like, speed up, but... At the same time, I just really want to uh, get this over with, because if you could tell, I really dislike it, but I don't know, man. At the same time, I still love this game to death, dude. I'm so happy. My friend was just randomly one day, it's like, dude, have you played Fire Emblem Awakening? It's pretty cool from what I heard, and it's like, dang, man, I haven't played a Fire Emblem game since I was a kid. I wonder if the new one's good. Oh boy, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Although, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this. Wow, the story got really weird towards the end. And I'm not meaning like weird as I'm like, yeah, then the Avatar turned into the Avatar from Nickelodeon. I'm talking like, okay, there are two plot holes that are just real. Oh my gosh, she does not mess. Yeah, like she said, she does not mess around. Holy crud, back to back crits, but I don't know, man, so far, Birthright has exceeded my expectations in that regard. So I'm happy about that. Amaterasu, I actually, no, that was probably her personal skill. Dang, these two, like, together are unstoppable. They're just gonna heal for so much, man, goodness. But, uh, let's keep the gravy train rolling. I don't have the, um, javelin on her, and I should probably get that on her, come to think of it, but unfortunately, we can't buy more. And, wow, Kaldori is almost level cap. God dang, I'm not going, I, see, the thing is, I, mm, do I want to use that, or... No. Yeah, really air sight superiority is pretty useless here, so there's no reason to, but uh... Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, might as well just take out this guy, come to think of it. I hope we get the crit, um, because this guy has sword breaker, and that's annoying. And I don't want to deal with that. But um... I keep saying that, like, but um, but um... It's like I'm a drum roll. Oh my god, we missed both? Come on! I mean, I know he's like faceless and that's kind of what they do, but still, man, god dang it, all right. I don't want to get in range with, um, Ryoma, that's just a bit silly to do. That's way too overzealous, but, uh, something I could definitely do. Spy Shuriken, this guy. We might get, actually, mm, it's too risky. I'm just gonna go for the duel. Hopefully we get lethality. If we do, awesome. I didn't even know that was go Oh my god, that is bright red. Because, okay, here's the thing. When you're recording 3DS games, guys, I use a computer monitor to look at my 3DS. Basically, like, I'm not actually looking at my handheld 3DS right now. I'm looking at it projected flawlessly onto my computer. 
and I kind of full screen it, so my entire face there was just red, and I don't know, I'd never noticed that before. Um, could she at no bummer? <laughs> so poor Sakura, she can't even do one damage because I level up her Naginata. God dang it. <laughs> I'm the worst ever. All right, whatever. Just KO him. Not bad. And oh man, we're actually all we're so close to level cap with Korin. Holy crud, dude. That's insane. I never thought that would actually happen because, uh, well, we've kind of just been going along. And well, I understand my Korin's a little powerful, but at the same time, level cap. I didn't think we'd reach that. Now, yeah, that's uh, he's maze. Yeah, it's it's calm. I like the icon they use for that though. It's perfect to convey like what it does. Basically, you just chill for a turn, you're good. You get some extra stats. It's nice and oh boy, we're actually taking a bit of damage. Not good at all. Ugh, that's unfortunate, but um We should be fine. And holy crud, dude. Kaldori almost has more HP than Corin. And they have a similar build. I just I don't know, man. I'm I'm living up with the Kaldori hype. She's great. She's amazing. I think I'm I think I'm going to use her in future episodes. Holy crud, dude. It's insane. <laughs> I can't get enough of that, dude. It just fits with Azama's like personality. It's like duh, 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 duh. you're dead. <laughs> it's like, I don't love him so much, man. Magic, though, mm, that's so great. Really, if he had more skill, dude, legit might be the most broken character in the entire game. So 50% 50 hit. If we hit one, I'm, I'm happy. If Oh, let's hope this hits. It's a crit, though. High chance. Oh, baby. There we go. That's what I want. I just don't want any of my sword masters to get over there and get bodied by that guy. So hopefully it won't come to that. Um, Sophie is also not in range. Oh, my gosh. None of us are in range. This is so aggravating. My goodness. All right, let's hope we just hit. Okay, perfect. That's fine by me. But yeah, this is this just this whole segment right here is just such a pain, dude. I don't know what they were thinking, and I don't even know why she's over here. She can't do anything. Goodness. All right. Let's just sing to her with Azura. Oh man, just two more levels. <laughs> it's not gonna be anything groundbreaking, but I just like getting every single character's like maximum stuff. It feels cool to me, man. And hopefully Sophie gets a Luna. Perfect. I'm getting so lucky with our skill procs today. It, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we're getting pretty lucky. And that isn't really a problem with me. So that's great. Let's see the um. Ugh, I don't like the position that Saizo's in. He can KO this. Ooh. Never mind. Um, He's in a kind of a bad position. But uh, now that he has Azama with him, I'm not nearly as scared. And I just realized Azama's doing this much damage with a really weak shuriken. If I gave him a high might one, honestly, what would he do, dude? Like, I think he'd just win the game by himself, and oh man, we're actually not clearing fast enough at all. Unfortunately, I think we will get to see the reinforcements, so that's kind of annoying, but uh, holy dump, dude. I am so excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am so pumped for two games coming out this month. Dark Souls 3, which I know you probably already know I'm a big fan of, and Ratchet and Clank. I am so pumped for the reboot, and apparently it's really, really good. The last Ratchet and Clank game I played was like subpar. I beat it in literally a sitting and a half because I had it go to the bathroom, and then I came back and beat the rest of the game. Now you're saying, John probably skipped everything because he's a pleb. No, I collected literally everything in one day. I was not very happy with my purchase, to say the least. Um. God, I just, I just, ah! I want to, I wanted to bring honestly more flying units here. The issue is, it's just such a pain to do that, man. I hate using flying units because sometimes their damage isn't amazing because they favor mobility over everything else, which is fine. I understand that's a part of the game. You can't move everywhere and sting kill everybody. That just be stinging dumb. But I mean, come on. Why do they give us so much wasteland? And I'm not even gonna use Hisame. I know he's he's decent. I mean, I just don't like the character. He's just so boring. He's really boring, guys. So I'm sorry if you're like the leader of the Hisame fan club, but he's just not my cup of tea. And I hope you understand why I'm doing that. Because really, outside of his pickle joke, which is basically his entire personality, he doesn't do too much, and I'm kind of upset we had to waste a guard stance on two damage, but it's okay. Sophie's not going anywhere anytime soon with that paladin. Oh my goodness. The more characters we get with seal speed, the better, because 
I just never want the opponent to double, which isn't really a Norian thing. Norians are basically just like one giant attack, and that's what they do, but I don't know. I just never want to see them get a double. Oh, we're going to get the reinforcements. This still doesn't top anything, though. When we got the reinforcements on, what map was it? I was so upset. Oh, yeah, the Windmire map. I was just like, God dang it. God dang it. I knew they were coming. I just, There's nothing I could have done to stop it. I was so not gonna lie, worst day of my life. Okay, that is a lie, but whatever. I need to be careful though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one has vengeance. That one has sting. I don't. I don't like poison strike. It's not fun. I mean, it's fun when you know Saizo uses it, but not when the enemy. And I could go without that, but then it gets too. Is it weird? I'm like, I really want to get into Plants vs Zombies. This game like makes me want to play that, and I'm just like, the dumb John. <laughs> How did those two things go together? But I don't know. It's just. I loved the original Plants vs. Zombies so much. I felt like it was such a fresh, like, idea. And I understand it's kind of getting milked a bit. But, you know, every great gaming franchise at some point is... Look at Mario. It's getting there. Um, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Well, not really. In my opinion, it was the worst during the GameCube area... Or, er, <laughs> era. Because, really... They had to sell GameCubes, or the company was going to be in trouble. Even though the GBA was doing fire, you still, it, yeah, you, your, game, your GameCube. It was amazing. You know, they try to make art. Right, we're gonna make the Mario for GameCube. We're gonna make the Zelda for GameCube. We're gonna make the F Zero for GameCube. All amazing games. Problem is, just like I don't know, people just didn't buy it. Personally, I love the GameCube to this day. It's one of my favorite consoles, just because of Wind Waker. I know that sounds probably. Oh crap! Be careful. Half, oh, I don't like that skill at all. I'm gonna not even mess with that with her. That's just way too risky. I would prefer if I get some healing on Sakura, but I don't think that's gonna happen, unfortunately. And if we got um, Hoshido Noble to level 15 with Kana in this episode, I'd be super happy because then she's basically invincible in the next chapter, which would be fine by me. And I've been waiting so long to do that next. Okay, we got it. I've been waiting so long to do that chapter, guys. I'm sorry, but we just had to get all the units now. And I believe, minus DLC, now we should have every single unit in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and ditch nobility. And you're probably thinking, wow, John, that was the dumbest thing you've ever done. But uh, I don't need EXP anymore since I can just grind up, so not really too concerned about that necessarily. So I think really just getting that on her is going to be good. And now she should proc Dragon Fang and Astra. At least semi often. Let's just end it. <laughs> I was just like, alright, this faceless. Oh my god, no. Turn 7. It came up so quickly. I was talking about the GameCube. God dang it. Yeah, I've been really wanting to play some GameCube games recently, too. Then again, it's just like, dude, man, there's too many cool games coming out. It's legit just impossible to play them all. How do people do it, dude? I don't understand, but uh, I'm going to move Kaldori right here. Can, can Hisame take them down? I'm pretty confident that he can. He only has an iron cut. Ooh. Way too risky for my blood. I'm just going to not worry about Actually, we'll send Azama for them. That sounds decent. And I'm going to have Saizo in route with us. Let's, um... Ah, uh, god dang it, this sucks. I'm gonna switch. I kind of just want to use Psych on Saizo. That should be fine. Level 10 on Sakura. That's okay! I don't actually know what the, uh... Wait, is the level 15 Falconite thing like, really good? I don't really recall, but... I hear, I hear it's decent. I don't really care about rallying, though. I'm more of a heal kind of guy. And uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do about those reinforcements. I think I'll just let Ryoma kill them since we are almost done here. Kana can easily take this blow. We can do this. Although I don't really know what Azura is doing here. <laughs> and yeah, didn't even hit me, dude. Easy game, man. As long as, like, she doesn't take over 8 damage a turn. Which sounds like a very unreasonable thing to ask for. Kana's basically immortal. Really? And oh crud, I need to show off the arena. Oh man, I hope we get Kana in the arena. That'd be really cool, but uh, that will have to be at a later date. Honestly, I'm trying to show off as much of the My Castle stuff as I can, and I probably should have just had an episode dedicated to all of it, and we still haven't seen the male hot spring thing, but it's just like, I don't know, dude. I'm trying to think, like, people probably just want to get to the chapters as quickly as possible, and oh crap, Hisame might actually have to fight, even if he doesn't want to. Bummer, okay. 
Here's our strat. We're gonna go in here, use Ryoma. Should be able to easy two hit KO. Okay. <laughs> the numbers were against me there where we still pulled it out. And oh man, he's so close to level 15. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those growth rates are ridiculous. I don't know what intelligence system was thinking crap. He is going to have to fight, unfortunately. That's fine though. I'm I'm decently okay with that. I prefer if he didn't, to be honest, but whatever. And really, who should I fight um the boss with? I prefer someone from range, but Really? Azama's really far away, so I'm not too sure what to do. Okay, he he, he dies, yeah. <laughs> so, really, what's the best course of action? Maybe Kaldori, since she just is really tanky. Hmm. Oh, he has vantage. Oh, gosh, he has vantage and counter. Uh, that's bad. All right, let's think, John. Basically, Ryoma would be the best, but I'm also trying to take care of these guys, so... It's pretty much risky no matter what attack I go, or what unit I use to attack him, but... I feel like the best might actually be Kana. Because Kana, there's only one attack, it's not two, right? And she's really strong, <laughs> as is, so... I'm thinking about it, and I might as well just bait this guy out, why the heck not? I'm just gonna move Kinoka right there, and so far, I think we're almost done with this chapter. Kisame definitely cannot get KO'd by that faceless to the north. So I'm not even remotely worried. Eh, it's more east. What am I talking about? <laughs> not worried about that at all. And Sophie wins as well. Okay, sweet. I was really not afraid of this at all. And really, that's what I look forward to when I do Fire Emblem videos. It's like, I want to feel the fear, dude. I want the chance someone might die, you know? Which sounds messed up when you say it loud, loud. But you know what I mean. And wow, you're tickling them over there, buddy. Uh... I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate Faceless. I hate reinforcements. The same stinking thing happened in Rajat's chapter. I'm just now remembering I am livid. I am beyond angry. I am flustered. Spy Shuriken, please get lethality or a crit or something, man. That would make my day. God dang it. All right, you know what? It's okay, uh, Saizo. I'm asking too much of you, man. That is really rude of me to do. And I'm not being sarcastic when I say that. Honestly, it's despicable of me. The amount of crits that he's gotten that have mattered, pretty, pretty high, so... Actually, no, Azama. I did this the whole time! Azama's in the perfect position to fight them! Ha -ha. I actually kind of want to move Kaldori over him so he gets passive healing. Okay, so... All we gotta do is finish off this guy, and we can't actually do that unless we get a crit. I'm not gonna take any damage, and that's fine. Ooh, this could be rough. Do I dare go in there with Kana? If I sing with Kana... Or sing two Kana's. <laughs> I'm sure Kana can sing. We might be fine. At the same time, I'm just worried we're gonna proc Astra, and that's gonna be a giant issue. Uh, it's tough. I think we'll be okay. Really? If I use the Azura Sing, it shouldn't have too much of an issue. Though, if we do proc Astra, uh, that's gonna be a lot of damage on a poor Kana. Uh, it's risky. I think we'll... See, the thing is, I know it's a level 13 unit, but at the same time, just the chance I could lose. Basically, my daughter is a bit scary, so never mind. Uh, this is a scary chapter, because we... I, I messed up, and I don't have Ryoma even remotely close, but... I think we'll be... The, I think... I hope. I hope the singing with Azura should be enough. That does give luck, too. And skill. Do I want that, though? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure about any of this, man. Oh, goodness. All right, let's, um... Let's rally for her. Let's just hope she pulls it out, man. I really hope... I know Kana can do it. Come on, Kana. You got this, girl. Don't proc Astra. I just need you to not do that one move. Please, girl. Six damage, that's fine. Don't do it. Don't... My girl! Woo! Okay. That's totally fine. She'll heal up next turn. Perfect. Perfect. Just don't proc Astra. Even if she did, though, I don't think it would actually matter. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do decent damage. I'm just gonna be on the safe side. 14 and 14. I don't like these odds, if I'm being honest, but let's just go for it. If we get the crit, we win, but we gotta be careful. He has vantage. That's what I'm afraid of. That counter. No. No. Okay, good. <laughs> I was so afraid. <laughs> All right. 
That's over, thank goodness. Yeah, just watch out for the general. Honestly, I recommend bring Takumi and just snipe him out. No reason to get up in his face, especially without vantage. Thank goodness that was over. I was actually on edge. Holy crud. Thank you. Father, to you and your friends, I don't know what I would have done. And with that, goodbye. Hey now. You're still giving up on me? That's it? You're talking it through? I... I can explain. Of course. I clearly belong in the Deep Realms. That's why you stuck me there. Right? Because I couldn't make it here? Ah, oh. uh, you got it all wrong. Come on, hold up. Let's talk this all out. Absolutely not. There's no point. You're a hero. I'm not. Hmm. You're being a blockhead, son. So I'm gonna lay it on you. Did you see yourself out there? I was a hero on the field. How'd you even do any of that? You're amazing! That's proof enough that you're right. I wasn't here. You trained you. Hisame. Please, travel with me. You don't need to go back. Hmm? Go with you. I won't get in your way. No! Of course not! I'd love to have you around all the time. I hope I can make it up to you for not visiting enough. Guess your dad just sort of a jerk. Not realizing about the time difference. But I swear, we'll spend every possible minute together from now on! Father. I mean, dad. <sighs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Just like when you used to show up and I'd come running. <laughs> yeah, where's my hug? I got some hairs ruffling to catch up on. Come on, over here. God. No, I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, okay, I got it. We're good. You really haven't changed, Dad. Still just a big dumb bear. All right. I can work with that. Huh? Hang on. What everything? You're you're not. You can't be. Have you gotten taller than me? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, I need to head back home to say goodbye. I'll be back shortly. <gasps> what? No way! Stay next to me, just for a second. We gotta measure it out. So that's the final paralogue, guys. Holy dump. We are done. We have all the units on Hoshido that we can currently obtain. And I honestly am relieved because we almost lost that paralogue. <laughs> I hate that basil so much. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. But in the next episode, we are going to do the chapter I've been waiting so long for. It is, in my mind, the coolest map ever. Fire Emblem, any strategy RP does not matter. This one is going to be awesome. You absolutely cannot miss it. <laughs> I'm being serious. It's amazing. See you guys in the next episode where we start the end of everything. The end of the game is so close. Holy crud, guys. Anyways, I'll stop geeking out. See you in the next episode. Bye.